going to be a short video showing uh, the new test feature that's now included with the Science Education Library. I'm at the Jove homepage, and um, to, I'm going to go and move to the Science Education Library. I can hover over it and see the different components. I'm going to click on it and go into the library, and then I can scroll up and down. And I can find a different uh, series or a different collection if I want. I'm going to click on General Laboratory Techniques and go to the very first video, an Introduction to a Centrifuge. And I'll need to pause the video as it plays automatically at startup. And the very top is an area called Create a Jove Test. So when you click on Create a Jove Test, it's going to ask you to sign in to your account. If you don't have a Jove account, you, you can go to the login area and create an account. It takes about two minutes, and we'll send an email to uh, ask you to confirm yourself. And then you'll be able to create tests. I'm going to log into my account and enter my password. Um, and then we're going to create a test. I'm signing in. The next screen is going to ask me to choose my field of study. In this case, I have general laboratory techniques. I can change that if I want. So I can move from one area of the uh, science education library to another. Or if I wanted to, I could even change the, the, video, the test on the video that I wanted to, uh, to send to students. But in this case, I'm just going to keep an introduction to a centrifuge and then name the test. And this is uh, today's test. test. And you'll also notice that we've pre-populated the questions. Those are going to be between five and ten questions per video. You can choose to use our questions, or you can turn them off if you want. And toward the bottom, you uh, can create your own test. Also notice that there's graphics. You can include a, a graphic if you like just by choosing a file. And then we're going to add our own question. And a good question is, how many questions can you have in a Jove, Jove test. And the answer is already is blue. We're going to say it's 50, and that is the correct answer. And then we'll say 100, we'll say 250, and we'll say 25. So the correct answer is 50. And after we've entered all of our questions that we want to use, then we can save and review the test. And the next area, the next screen is going to be in a, a way that you can take a look and look at all the questions you've had. You can edit the questions if you want to. You can just turn them off or turn them back on. So it's just a way for, for the teacher, the educator, to take a quick snapshot and say, yes, this is exactly what I wanted, and we'll save and approve the test. And the next screen is going to ask us to enter the email addresses of the students that will need to take the test. In this example, I'm just going to use myself. You can copy and paste from an Excel sheet. You can divide the email addresses by a comma. Um, and after you've entered all the email addresses, you would update the list. You can add a personalized message. Please do your best. And then you can set a deadline. A deadline is uh, uh, a way that while we're going to let the student know how many they got right and wrong immediately after they finish the test, they can't see the correct answer if you set a deadline until after the deadline. So they could come back after the deadline's passed and see the correct answers to, the, to their quest, to, to their test. And when we're done, send the test. We're gonna, it's going to ask us to confirm that we want to send the test to the students. We will confirm that. And in the next screen, it's going to show us these are the tests that we've created. And once the students have taken them, the results will show back up in this portal. And you can take a look at the results. Obviously, since I just created the test, I have not taken it yet. But once we've taken the test, it will show me which ones were correct and which ones that got wrong. You can export the results if you'd like to analyze the data a little further. Hopefully, all that helps. I appreciate your time. Thanks. Bye.